Okay, much better. Welcome to December 1st, my first day of vlogs. Um, I have tons of advent calendars. I have them sitting over here. I think I'm gonna start with the Nespresso one this morning because I haven't had my coffee yet. Um, Alvin and I just got ready, but here he is drinking his coffee. We love our Nespresso machine. It's amazing. So this is the Nespresso advent calendar. This is what it looks like. Are we supposed to start on 24? So yeah, it's actually because when you're actually doing Advent, it's because you start with one candle lit. Okay, so we start with number one after Googling it. So I'm gonna open number one. It is a coffee pod, I'm pretty sure. Gonna pull it out. Yes, coffee pod, this is Intensio. Um, it seems pretty intense, it's at a nine. I think I'm gonna have this this morning and Alvin's gonna try it because we're there's only one pod in, in all of every one of these, but some of them are ones that we haven't tried yet, so we'll probably just share them. Also have the David's Tea, 24 days of tea, but I'm gonna open that later since I'm drinking coffee right now. And then Graham just ate but I have an advent calendar for him for dogs. Um, it says, oh, eight toys and 16 bags of treats. <laughs> um, but because he just ate, I'm not gonna give him any of that. I'll probably do it before I go to work later. Um, let's make my coffee. Oh, I also have a cheese advent calendar from Aldi. So that looks like this and it opens i don't know how it opens like this okay so that's 24 days of cheese so after i make my coffee we'll probably open and see which cheese is for today even if we don't eat it right away for today okay look my beautiful nespresso machine put this in here close it down let me get my christmas cup this is super cute, has a little doggy on it. Alvin's has a pug on his. I love my pug. <laughs> okay, go ahead, press the button, and I'm gonna heat up some half and half in here. Mmm. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at that nice crema on that coffee. I'm waiting a little bit for my half and half. I'm also gonna put some milk because this one's supposedly dark. Yummy. That one's very strong. I don't know if I would buy that one because it's so dark and Alvin usually doesn't really like dark coffee. Do you wanna try a sip? Yeah, that one's dark. <laughs> Still tastes good though. Just strong. I didn't realize the package came already today. I think this is what I think I ordered. Oh, yes. I ordered a letter board. So that way we can keep track of the dates and stuff for IVF. So like I've seen on TikTok, they put like um, their needles or like, and also like a letter board 
along with their baby onesie to be like, okay, today is egg retrieval day or today is um, you know my last injection or my first injection or whatever it would be. So I got a little one so that way I can do that. And I actually already have the little onesie um, that I got for it too. So this is cute. That's cute. And then I can always put it in the baby room with the baby's name on it later. It's such a uh, millennial thing to do, I feel like. Okay, let's find number one. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, these are like bites. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, it's for him. Not for I'm you, sorry, buddy. Graham, it's not. So, Edom, is that how you say that? Edom? Edom? Cheese? Yeah, Edom. That is the tiniest piece of cheese I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that's cool. I don't know, maybe I won't buy this next year. My sister has this cheese one, and they have a chocolate one, so I'm interested to see what the chocolate one was like. It wasn't at Aldi when I went to go get it, but okay, that is the cheese for the day. It is a semi-hard cheese that originated in the Netherlands. Okay, so we got Netherlands cheese. Man, it's that tiny. We can eat that before you leave for work. <laughs> Alvin's curious as to what um, Graham's first T-R-E-A-T -E will be. He doesn't have to know yet. Yeah, he won't. Um, he might know. Yeah. I think it's taped, yeah. That's funny, it says toys though. I wonder if he would like the toys that are in it. I mean, it has a pug on it, that's why I got it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love that. And it looks like 6, 18, 24, and 12 are going to be good days. Yeah. All right, number one. Uh, he, I think he knows we're talking about it. Oh, that's a decent amount, huh? He gets more than we got our cheese for. Oh my gosh, he gets more than what he gets in like a week. Wow. Uh, that is a lot. Well, buddy, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you all this stuff, but... I mean, I'll just give him like one or two per day and then I can put the rest in his jar. Yeah, we'll let you do a sample. Wow, that's crazy. I might use this on my Patreon for my live stream for him because he's going to choose people's TBRs over there. Oh, should I give him the milk bone that came in the mail? Yeah, we can give him the milk bone. So our mailman always leaves Graham a little milk bone. And I think that's what he's been waiting for. You got to sit. Are you a good boy? And goodbye. <laughs> okay, so Alvin just went to work and I am just setting up my computer to work on some things for a little bit. I just finished filming my Patreon announcement video, which I hope it turned out good and I think I covered everything, but I'm about to open it up to, well, I have to edit it and then I'm going to post it live I'm gonna open it up to YouTube and that is like so crazy to think about. I already have 22 patrons like just from people that signed up for my book club because I let them have early access to it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have like two. Like literally I did not even think that a bunch of people would sign up and so I am like so incredibly thankful and it just makes like my dreams like be able to be like wow i actually probably could do this in the future this could be my full-time job i could stay home with my future baby and just make bookish content for you all oh that sounds so amazing so i'm about to edit that video and then i also made just a little like one and a half second video that i need to put up on my main channel because um, I haven't really posted there in a few weeks. I just have a lot going on. And since I'm doing Vlogmas here on this channel, I wanted to let them know that, that was happening. So that way they could come over here and watch those videos since I won't have any videos going up on my main channel within this month. So it's literally just a video that's like, hey, come over to my book channel and watch my videos, you know? So hopefully they listen. I'm gonna do the Patreon one first because that one is definitely more important because they won't get to see these vlogs until like December 4th anyway, since Patreon people get 
um, early access. I guess I need to use this camera so I can take the footage off. Okay, bye, see you in a bit. SIBO, it's like small intestinal bacteria overgrowth and um, it came back, which that does happen to people a lot. I'm hoping that my doctor will be able to figure out how to not make it come back. This time I have to take uh, 28 days worth of antibiotics. So look at this big thing and then this smaller one. Um, so I actually have to take my morning ones. I probably shouldn't have waited this long, but yeah, I have to take eight pills all day long. So I'm going to divide these out for today. That way I know that I took what I needed to take. I'm gonna have to take those two. And then these are getting ready for later, which actually I have this little David's tea thing. Uh, I need to take these with me to work because uh, that's when I'll be doing them. Well, I can keep two out for when I get home from work. Two have to go with me from this one. So that's two, four, six. And then this one is two a day. These ones are only for 10 days, which is nice because these ones are like very strong. <laughs> I don't like them. So I have to take one now and then I have to take one with me to work later. So this will be going to work with me. And then these are back to here. So I'm gonna eat a hard-boiled egg that I put in some pickle juice. I get these Grillo's pickles um, from Costco and they are so good. And then I put horrible eggs in them. Um, yeah, they're delicious. And they have like tons of fresh dill. Mm. <laughs> Not me inhaling the yolk and choking. Don't mind if I have another. Later, I'm gonna be doing a Bible study with my friends starting one in December. And one of my new year's resolutions is like to keep up with it the whole entire year. So I'm really excited about that. I'm supposed to be getting a new journaling Bible today. I really hope it comes in. I have like a ton of laundry to do. Well, I have a ton of laundry to fold. I don't feel like doing that yet though. But I also, I haven't finished my one book I was reading from November. I feel like I should probably finish that today so that way I can start on all my December books. I think I also forgot to tell you that I work today at three. That's fun. Actually, I'll take these two first. That's why I don't have to bite. Don't mind me, I'm just still choking on that egg yolk. <laughs> Okay, so my Patreon went live on my channel now and I'm just finishing up the stuff that I need to do for my main channel, I'm putting out my like Vlogmas announcement. I figured it would be a perfect time for me to pick the wish list winner for today. So it's day one, so this is the very first winner. I'm not gonna tell you the name, but I will go through the wish list and we'll pick a book together. So that's gonna be really exciting. I had, 101 people send in their wish list, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and generate 24. Okay, so now I need to um, come on over here and I need to count. I'm gonna always start at the top and work my way down. And there are 50 on this first list. So I'm gonna count right now. What was the number? 24. That's actually really funny because um, my number is 24 because my birthday is May 24th. That's really weird that um, it's 24 days of gifting and the number 24 was first and that's my number. Like, this is weird. Okay, one, two, three, four, 22, 23, 24. Click on it. All right, let me click on this wish list. Okay, so let's look at this wish list. We got the holiday swap, one day in December. I've heard that's really good. It looks like this is a romance reader. 
Ooh, November 9. Ooh, and the long walk. Oh my gosh, these are two of some of my favorites. Um, okay, those are really big contenders. I think I'm gonna go with November 9 because it's like one of my all-time favorite Colleen Hoover um, books. Like, And look, this one has the new cover, which I think is gorgeous. Okay, add that, proceed to check out. All right, so that's what we are ordering. I'm so excited. It'll probably get here in a few days. I had to send an email to the winner um, asking for them to turn on their address sharing because it doesn't show up with the address. Like I won't get to see their address. It just has like, oh, this is this person's private address and you just click on that. Like Amazon knows all the information, but they don't have the sharing on. So I had to email them and ask them to turn it on. So if you did send me a wish list, please make sure that you go in and turn on your address sharing. Um, because obviously if I send you an email, you probably know that you got chosen. Um, so if you want it to be a full surprise, go in, turn on all your address sharing now. Um, so that way, you know, it will be a surprise if you get chosen. I have a few more things to do. It's 12 o'clock and I need to get this stuff done before it's time to go to work. Thought I was gonna get to read today and I thought I was gonna be able to give you guys a wrap up for November because I didn't get to read that much in November, but we'll see what happens. Okay, the winner got back to me and this will be delivered on December 4th, which is really cool because that's when you all will see this video on YouTube. So that's so cool. The order has been placed. Okay, I finished, I think almost all of my computer work. It is like 10 minutes to one and I wanna get a few non-computer things done before I have to go to work. I also think that, I don't know, I might pick a book to start reading or listening to while I'm at work. I feel like I haven't been able to do that though recently, so we'll see what happens. That's one of the reasons why I started my Patreon because I would love to not have to continue working so much because it just takes so much time and energy and what I love doing is YouTube and reading books and it's like, wouldn't that be great if I could do that? I mean, I will be staying home when I have a baby, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, guys. Okay, so let's do a small-ish wrap up. Um, well, I'll show you all the books I didn't get to read. So much stuff going on in November. I was so worn out. My whole family came to visit for Thanksgiving. I also had my boss's wedding um, like the weekend before Thanksgiving. So I finished work, had the wedding like the next day. I filmed her wedding, um, for her, edited that the next day, which was also the only day I had to get ready before my family came in. And then my family was here from Tuesday to Friday. And then I had to go back to work at 9 a.m. on Saturday. I was like so pooped, it was ridiculous. So honestly, that's why like I didn't get to my TBR because like, half of November was just kind of a bust for me. I also was working on my Patreon a lot, so you know, I wanted to get that up for the new year and stuff. So these are all the books that I didn't get to, which I'm sad because I really wanted to read the airplane books. Um, I actually did, <laughs> I actually read half of He Started It and half of Falling, but I was listening to the audiobook, so I know I missed some things. Um, and I actually think that I will like both of them. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to keep going. I know I'm missing some of the storyline and I kind of wanted to like sit down and savor. Is that the word I'm looking for? I actually feel like I'm gonna like he started it. Like the storyline, I was liking the characters, the storyline and everything. So I included this in the Patreon book pick for December. So I'm actually keeping this out because I probably will read it in December, but I'm gonna like start from the beginning and read the physical copy. Falling, I think I'm just going to not finish. I was thinking about finishing it today, but since I was going to do that airplane vlog, I feel stupid reading this one and then putting these back on my shelf because why would I not just read them all together? So I think I'm just going to put all three of these back on my shelf and read them at another time. I also didn't get to read Pretty Stolen Dolls, even though this is a small book. So that is also going back on my shelf. So technically four books I'm putting back on my shelf. Um, yes, but we're including, he started it back in my December TBR. My December TBR is freaking 
huge. A lot of people have been saying Dying for Christmas is amazing and the audiobook is on Scribd. So this is actually a good contender. They have all been writing about it. Whoops. So maybe I wanna start with this one because I think I'm gonna start with this one. I think this is the one I'm most excited for. Oh, and then honestly, the only other books that I read last month were the ones for my memoir vlog, which I already talked about. So I read three books for a memoir vlog and I can link it above. Oh, I did, okay, so I read Ghost Boy, Everything is Fine, and The Only Girl in the World, that was all part of my memoir vlog. But then I listened to 20% of Spoiler Alert and I decided to unhaul it because <laughs> The fan fiction, I'm sorry, I just, I can't, I can't. It was just, I I don't even, I didn't understand anything, I'm sorry. But that I unhauled, so technically I read, got rid of four books, but that was hardly anything November, oh my gosh. I guess if I would have finished He Started It and Falling, that would have been a little bit better, but it's okay, it's okay. It's a new month, we're gonna start a new book. By the way, I forget if I mentioned, this is for Jessie's book club, um, and I will link her channel down below. So that's why I'm reading it, and I think it's gonna be amazing. Man, it's kinda super sad that I have to put these books back up here. <laughs> I don't really have a space. I had just like, been able to fit all the books on here, but oh well, these are just gonna have to go here for now until I get to them another time. Um, but yeah, look how beautiful it is. Oh, I don't think I hauled any books this month, so that's kind of cool. No hauls for November. Is it time to give Graham his little treat? Let me put this further away so we can see him. All right, you gotta sit, sit, stay, stay. Stay, are you a good boy? Yeah! Different than oh, okay, bye, see ya. He always takes his treat into his little bed always like i mean sometimes he'll take it to the rug because he like lays on the rug but he always takes it there he is this is clean laundry i need to put away is that good yum <laughs> yummy i have this um like i have jars of his treats up here and he always knows when we're coming to get it but i think i'm gonna put the rest of these in here oh <laughs> Okay, I'll give you one more then. Hold on. I'm gonna put these in here because that is way too many for him to have. All right, you want another one? You gotta sit. Sit. You gotta sit, stay. All right, get it. Oh, oh, oh right, I forgot about that rug too. He goes to that rug. I forgot. Let's see what today's tea is in the David's 24 calendar. Um, this is what I gave away earlier in my video. My friend Aaron won it. Okay, so number one, I probably won't drink this right now because I just made myself another coffee, but I want to see what it is and then maybe I would take it to work. We'll have to see. So this one is... Merry Mistletoe. You can't see that, hold on. There we go. Merry Mistletoe. That looks delicious. Okay, Merry Mistletoe is apples, raisins, hibiscus, cranberry, apple slices, cinnamon stick, mistletoe. Usually I like like black teas and stuff. This seems like more like a fruit tea, but it might be really good with honey. And I believe it has no caffeine. So depending upon, you know, like how I feel after work tonight, maybe I'll make a cup. So I finally put my computer away because I, I just keep getting stuck on that. And I really wanted to get some other stuff done. I um, am not doing my Bible study today because I thought my Bible would come before I have to go to work, but it's almost 1.30 and it hasn't come yet. So instead I'm going to start setting up my December bullet journal. I'll show you some of these stickers that I got. I think I have some more coming in the mail. Um, 
So I just use a Boistrum. This is my second year of the half, like second half of the year. Um, I had the blue one for the first half of the year. And then I'm going to start, I have this teal color. Um, this is going to be my infertility, like IVF journal, as well as my pregnancy journal. Um, so I actually got a few stickers off of Etsy a few, like a month or so ago. So this is really, really cute. I'm just showing you this, even though I'm not working on this one. Um, but yeah, super excited to put that together. Um, my IVF date is in February, so I'll probably be starting that journal for the new year. Um, my one friend, Michelle, was so nice. I was telling her how I wanted to get some stickers, so that way I could start doing stickers in my bullet journal. And she sent me all of these um, because she wasn't using them anymore. So we have these like cute little TVs, which are really cute, which Alvin and I have been watching Survivor, so I'll probably put a little Survivor thing on there. Um, there's these little like self-care ones, like that, that's really cute. There's this dog food and dog treat one, I love it. She has all these like arrows, she has all these arrows and stuff, which is really cool. I mean, there's just so many in here, and then there's like ones like this. I mean, there's just so many. And then I really like how she has like the months. There's a few different ones. So I'm definitely going to use that. So I think I'm going to just turn on some music and heat up my coffee and just kind of like work on my journal. I think I'm going to listen to Taylor Swift. It says that we listened to 1,052 artists this year and the top artist was Taylor Swift. That's for real. You spent a total of 4,468 minutes with them and just couldn't get enough of Willow. Willow is really good. Top artists, number one, Taylor Swift, number two, Billie Eilish, number three, City and Color. That's what I like mostly listen to in the fall. Love it so much. Like that's my folk, my indie folk. Number four is The Weeknd. Alvin and I both love him. And number five is Khalid, which I mean, yes. I started listening to um, Dying for Christmas, which I don't know why I didn't start earlier. So I am 11% into Dying for Christmas and I only got two of my spreads done. I did a calendar spread like this and then this is my December TBR spread, which I think I'm going to really like. Um, and then I'll have to work on more spreads probably tomorrow. I heat it up. I know this looks like poop, but um, <clears throat> I just had leftover mashed potatoes and gravy and cranberry sauce still from Thanksgiving. So I heated that up quick because I need to go to work. Oh, and here's my tiny bite of cheese. Let me try this. Very creamy, but pretty like sharp. I really like sharp, but Alvin probably won't like it. Okay, so dying for Christmas. I actually think <clears throat> that I'll be able to keep listening to it at work because it seems to be a pretty easy audiobook to listen to. Right now, it's about this lady who, she's incredibly stupid. Like, <laughs> she is like one of the stupidest characters I think I've met before. She is in this like long-term relationship with somebody, but she goes to this coffee shop and she like meets this one guy. And it's weird because like, she starts talking to him, he's talking to her, and then he's like, hey, let's go someplace. And she's like, okay, like, I know this is stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So he takes her to his house and now she's stuck there. Um, I got to the part where it's like, 
there's like 12 gifts under the tree and every day he's gonna give her a gift. I don't know, it's really creepy and weird, but like, I just can't get over how stupid she is. I feel like it would have been more believable if maybe he became friends with her and then he kind of like lured her to his house or if he kidnapped her, but like, she just went willingly. Oh my gosh, in other news, I have 45 patrons already. Like what the heck? You guys surpassed my goal, my first goal of 25. So now I get to buy a bunch of stickers for my bullet journal. Now you're five away from me hitting my goal of 50, which means that I get to buy myself a new bookshelf to go right here. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. December 1st is already a good day. So you guys are sleeping <clears throat> on this potato gravy and cranberry sauce mixture. Okay, friends, time to go to work. Kinda wish I wasn't, but at least my friend Zach works today. He's like the new supervisor and we're like really, really good friends now. So that's pretty cool. I am sad none of my packages came yet today. Sorry, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay, here we go, here we go. Bye, Graham, have a nice day. See ya, don't get into trouble. Ugh, it's such a cloudy, gross day today. So the audiobook is playing like while I'm driving to work, which is only like, a, I don't know, five minute drive, 10 minute drive, I guess. Anyway, this book is actually getting really good. It says I'm on chapter nine now, and he's making her sleep in this dog kennel, and she lost her privileges because she lied to him, so um, she doesn't get a blanket, and um, she ended up like eating something that was making her sick, and she was like, I have to use the bathroom like really quick, and he doesn't give her any privacy, so like she was having diarrhea, and he's standing there watching her and smiling like I am ready to throw up. It was ridiculous. Also, look how cute my town is. Look, they put up all of the little Christmas wreaths and stuff. It is so cute. Okay, heading into work. I don't know if you guys remember, but I have to walk up all these staircases. That's only half of these staircases I have to walk up. I always die. And here is the second set of staircases. Yep, I came from there. And now I have to go up here. Okay, welcome to the closet. Where I gotta put on my hat and stuff. This is Zach, my favorite supervisor. <laughs> the only supervisor. <laughs> So my favorite. This is Maggie, the nicest coworker here. She also just won a gift card for being the nicest coworker here. I'm laughing. I can't. <laughs> this is for real right now. Oh yeah, I'm including this footage. Look at him. He's so hard at work. Someone has to be. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> we have an hour and ten minutes left. It's so boring. I guess we could work on cleaning up some mess, but you know, who wants to do that? Oh, let me show them the Santa. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is our holiday break. We're doing a countdown. This is Santa who is named Derek. <laughs> Santa Derek <laughs> smoking a cigarette. And look at his little elves. I don't know, are they, are they wearing pom poms? Maybe. Um, so originally, <laughs> I wish I had the original picture, but originally. Really the original picture. Yeah, I'll have to ask her. And <laughs> it was supposed to be, bowl. yeah, it was supposed to be stripper Santa. <laughs> and they were doing, they were, there was dollar bills flying all over the place, but our boss said that we got in. <gasps> oh. Even our, man, even our like manager's boss came in and he's just like, so what's Santa Yeah, he was, smoking? he was, he was like, who wants to tell me why Santa's over there on the board smoking a cigarette? Oh, funny. No, 
I should film you making a coffee one day. <laughs> Okay, I'm home from work. It is almost 12 o'clock. Um, I just took a shower and Alvin has been putting presents under the tree. Look at this big one that just showed up. Look at that. What is that? I put Graham's little advent calendar down here because I thought it was really cute. But Alvin already has three other presents for me down here. Like what the heck? And what is that? What is that? Okay, I also, my Bible did not come today, um, but I did get these Christmas cards that look really pretty. They're probably gonna look prettier in the daytime, so I'll show you in the morning, but really excited about these. I have another set coming. I'm not sure when it's coming. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's cute. Yeah, but I'm sad that my, um, this one's cute too, I like this one. Actually, I think this one's my favorite. Um, I'm sad that my Bible didn't show up and I have like other stuff coming. Oh, and then Dying for Christmas, I ended up, let's see how much I read of this. I am 25% in to Dying for Christmas. And I mean, I'm liking it. I am not like in love with it. Like, oh my gosh, I have to finish reading it right now. But I am excited to continue on with it. I need to take my nightly antibiotics here. Um, and then I'm probably just going to head to bed because I need to wake up in the morning. Oh, Alvin must have filled the dishwasher for me. Um, I need to wake up in the morning so that way I can edit this vlog. And all of my peeps over on Patreon, you'll get to watch it first, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, that's really exciting. So I cannot believe I am literally, I am at over 60 patrons, which is nuts. Like today, this morning, I started at like 20 something. It blows my mind. Okay, I think that's it for this vlog. I will see you all tomorrow, day two. December 2nd. Super excited to open all my advent calendars in the morning. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite part of it was down below and I'll see you very soon in tomorrow's video. Bye everyone.